It's a lovely autumnal day and here's a lovely boat. She's called Augustus John. She's a 58 foot semi-traditional narrowboat built by Liverpool Boats in 2005. She's been home to the current owner since, since she was launched. I think my views on Liverpool Boats are quite well known. They're practically arranged, good solid boats. Nice fit outs. She was last blacked in July 2016, so that is due. She was serviced in December 2018. She had six new anodes on in 2016. The battery banks, the domestics were new in September this year, 2019. There were two domestics, 110 amp hours and one starter. Oh, oh there's Rob. He's on his ride on lawnmower. He's happy as a pig in poo on that thing. Anyway, back to the boat. The gas locker in the forward locker there, two 13 kilo gas bottles. The front doors are glazed, hardwood, and the well deck itself is 3 feet 8 inches long. The storage under both of the lockers either side of the well deck here. And into the boat we go. A vast space. She's fitted out in oak faced ply. Carpets to the floors. Head height on the boat, typical Liverpool. Quite tall, six feet six, and there are so many shelves under the gunnels, you'll see as we go through. There's a stereo. Storage under the seat, and the stove itself is an Arrow Eco Burn multi-fuel stove. It's a blank canvas really, the saloon is 17 feet long. With no fixed furniture in it, you could put anything you like in here. Large sofa bed, large sofa, dinette, armchairs. So the radiator, the three of those on board. Central heating is a Webasto diesel fired system. We'll just turn around and I'll give you an impression of the space in here. Two freestanding chairs and a dining table there. On to the kitchen. Classic Liverpool horseshoe shape, plenty of storage in here. Cupboards over the cooker. The cooker itself is a DIT 500 drop in oven, hob, and grill. The stainless, sorry, the sink is stainless steel. A huge cupboard underneath that. The fridge sits next to it, that's a LEC 12 volt. There is a nice box in there. And the worktops in here are laminate. There's a side hatch in the galley that adds light and air. And down here you'll see all the way shelves under the gunnels. Lots and lots of storage space. There's a floor to ceiling cupboard here as we leave the galley. The fuse switches for the electrical systems are just above that actually. And into the bathroom. The loser Thetford cassette, there is a spare cassette on board. A countersunk oval basin and a good sized shower cubicle with a light in it opposite. Plenty of room in here, everything you need to do what you need to do. Those shelves are oak by the way. Into the bedroom, six foot two long, four feet wide. There's room under the whole of it for storage. Reading lights over the bed and cupboards as well. Another radiator in here. The bedroom itself is 12 feet long, so another huge room. The galley was 7 feet long, I don't think I mentioned that. Good sized floor to ceiling wardrobe at the end of this cabin. Airing cupboard here, the calorifier sits under those slats. Hot water, while I'm on the subject, is heated by the engine or the central heating. So onto the stern deck. Under those deck boards sits the Isuzu 42, approximately 600 hours on that. And the control panel, which you see there on the bottom left of the screen, has just been replaced. Storage under both of those bench sheets, either side of the semi trad deck. So she's been tried and tested as a liverboard. 
Should make a lovely long-term cruising boat or again a residential boat. Lighting on board is a mixture of LED and halogen. And back through the boat we go. Lots of space, a bit of a blank canvas really. And off we hop. So there we go, that's a lovely boat, Augustus John. For further photographs, a fully downloadable colour brochure and the price, go to our website www.rugbyboats.co.uk.